Many of us have put off all sorts of medical screenings during the pandemic, and while all of them are important, one in particular requires you to be careful in what you choose, or it could add some pain in the pocketbook. It's colon cancer screening. Ursula Perry talks to a local doctor who says some tests are more simple to use than others, but there could be a big difference medically as well as financially. It is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, so you may be getting lots of information on getting up to date on your screening. Today, you have choices, the in-clinic colonoscopy or Cologuard, an in-home screening test that checks for DNA and blood abnormalities. That test is about 70-ish percent good at finding cancer, but it's only about 20-ish percent good at finding the big polyps, which are the ones with usually pre-cancer in it. And those are the ones you really want to get out. Colonoscopy, on the other hand, is 95% accurate at finding large polyps. And there's one more thing. If your Cologuard test is positive, your insurance company may not cover the subsequent colonoscopy you now need. They're just saying you have one screening. You got one mammography, one pap smear, one colon screening. So if you use it, tough luck. Now you need to pay. Some other big differences? Cologuard is for those who are at average risk for colorectal cancer and do not have issues like IBD or a family history of colorectal cancer. You know, the best thing to do is colonoscopy. There's no doubt. Nobody puts that in question. When it's done right, you are very protected, about as good as you can be protected against any cancer. Cologuard is a much less expensive test, but you need to be prepared to pay out of pocket for any follow-up screenings that you may need that are not covered by your insurance. As for colonoscopy, the good news is that if they do find small polyps while the procedure's underway, they'll remove them right then and there. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.